<clears throat> okay. Missing that in here. There's that jerk snowman. I can't do anything about it since I'm not flying. Right, and I was meaning to go and check out some other stuff because I couldn't find much else to do in the snow spot. Stop! Jason! Yeah. Alright, I run through those eggs pretty fast. Sniper was the better way to go. Alright. You dragon. I'll leave that up to you. You're funnier when you do it. What, 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 what was that? You can't be an angry dragon. You do it much better. You're much funnier. I mean, I don't think I've technically played a dragon yet. Well, okay. Zazma was had dragon blood. True. I would doubt it. Alright. Uh oh, you're gonna have to backtrack, aren't ya? Yeah, it's starting to look like that. I I know that uh apparently uh Ar Argle expected me to get, to have gotten to Clanker's Cavern by now, and I haven't touched that, so I have a feeling I might have to backtrack and look for that. Uh, if you want to get to Clinker's Cavern, uh, I can tell you where to find it. At least. I'd appreciate that. Well, first, I will get some more dirt on Gruntilda. Yeah, if you're gonna want, uh, it's where you go to Giant Rock Bay. It's it's that pipe. Okay, uh, uh, give me a moment on that. Spider pancakes. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and what else did she do? Usually has oh god dog dung burgers for dinner. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. We're done. <laughs> There's one more. And finishes with eyeball ice cream. For dessert. You know, after the second choice, that's not as bad. Yeah. Ugh. Just... Okay, they're kind of funny. It's they're obviously going for the gross out humor factor. Yeah, but it's way too much. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to not think about it. Uh, 
I suppose that was kind of a thing that was like all over the 90s though. So you said it was around uh, Jolly Roger Bay? Yeah, it's that area where you have to go to it. Remember how there's like that cliff? With the pipe. I can't remember if you go into the pipe or you go if you uh, have to like backflip up on top of it. To get it. Hmm. I just know that that's like the way. Okay. You will find the way. Oh, there's a big old pipe. You will find the way. And how'd I miss this? Simple. Because we were focused on that big ass hill. I mean, because let's be honest, you saw the hill, there was a door up there, and you went to the door, and then you continue onward. This is true. Ooh. Pretty easy thing to overlook, actually. And there is a lot to explore. Yeah. There's, ooh, uh, there. There's a blockage on this pipe, though. Why, hello. Hello. Just as I finish up the last, I mean, I've still got a lot of cleaning to do, but I can post the uh, player's guide. Huzzah! I'm just glad that my new character idea is actually going to work out. And finally, you're at Clanker's Cavern. It just feels so weird that I always thought this was like the bird buddy. Oh wait, no, you're not. I'm you're trying to forget to because the the things. Hmm. Okay, you're gonna want to backflip onto the top. Like here? Yeah. So you go in through there, I think. Okay. No, I mean into that hole, I think. There has to be something in there that'll help you. See, right, yeah, I think I remember coming in here and I unlocked something. I forget what, though, exactly. Yeah, I remember coming through here. Uh, bash this. Yeah, yeah, that hasn't popped up yet. Unless you've already pushed it down, which I think was for the grate down there. Yeah. Okay. I call, you can actually go back to Mumbo's. Not Mumbo's, uh, to the starting area. I think there's like a fish that you can meet and give you more breathing air. I barely remember that, but it sounds about right. Yeah, look. Check yeah. that out. Ah. Uh, so, Ruby's, Ruby's first, uh, session. She got bad touched by the the champion. Uh, crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> I said exactly what I meant. Did he try to lay on hands? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we gonna have to? Is it called Bill Hansen? No. Well, again, the champion was trying to do a good thing, using lay on hands on the on the young girl that just got hurt. So that way she can, you know, heal her. Except, you know, Ruby's a ghost. So, 
she the the champion was quite uh, shocked and when uh, she used her healing touch and uh, the young girl uh... screamed in pain oh no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that could be a problem. And it's funny, because it's like, I never explicitly told the party that she was a ghost, but I gave them plenty of, uh, you know, examples. It's like, the first thing Ruby said to him, she's like, I'm a haunted doll. And then I had her walk through a wall using her ghost, uh, pass through and I've even done stuff like you know do the whole she takes her head off it's like yeah okay that that one can be attributed to a doll but still it's just like yeah <laughs> Cause yeah, it's like, you, you, with some of those other ones you could say, okay, she just has magical abilities and she likes pretending to be a ghost. But yeah, the head off thing is definitely, um, a hint. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, now I remember. I, I'm misremembering. Oh. You get extra air bubbles in Banjo Tooie. Yeah, that's what I. Ah, uh, okay. That Sounds like I don't remember. remember. It also, it also, I think it also teaches you fast swimming. Yeah. I'm sorry to waste your time. It is. It's fine. It's nice to go back and see some of this stuff. Actually, there is something you could check. Yeah. If you go back into your house and look directly at the uh, painting, you'll unlock a little mini game. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember when it's supposed to unlock, but it's like a, you have to do like first person view. Well, let's see. Fish. Picture of sister. Another picture of sister. Uh, uh, it's a painting on, over the fireplace. Oh, the bottles one. Which is kind of a weird thing to have in your... Uh, I think it has to be direct you be on the rug while you look at it. Uh, Alright. Might not have unlocked yet. It's just one of those things where... I don't remember when it's unlocked. Okay. No, I guess it hasn't unlocked yet. Okay, just peck around a bit. Okay. Yeah. Time to see if I can't find that danged old uh, Clanker's Cavern. How much I've talked it up, it's just, I, I now feel like it's going to end up just being just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mostly it's just been, huh, you, you, it's funny I haven't been there yet, it's, it'll be fine. Okay. Did you get the jiggy from the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove? I think I got all the jiggies in Treasure Tro Trove Cove. Hmm, because you would have been able to unlock the the secret game the, after you get the thing. Mm. Oh! Oh, I didn't jump on this thing. That's why I haven't. Okay. I, I, I just, I guess I must have just, like, completely forgot that was there when I came out of freaking uh, 
Jolly Roger Bay. And then, yeah! And then it opens up. Yeah. Some of the things I distinctly remember, other things it is easy to overlook. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you think if Mario ever visited this lair, he takes a look at the paintings and tries to jump into them? I mean, I'll admit they're probably... in one game. I mean, I think technically that all was... Oh, there was a cameo in Odyssey, but yeah. I mean, still, I mean, for, for, for like this era, if I did not know about the Jiggies being a thing, my first instinct would have been to try jumping into one of the paintings just because Mario yeah, 64 yeah. trained me to do that. Yeah, that is true, yeah. They are pretty kick-ass paintings. I wouldn't mind one of them on the wall. I like Mumbo's Mountain. That's a cool place. Just one new move, but it's hidden well. Okay. And that is bad. Okay. Oh, that is not bad touch water. Okay. Looks so freaking dirty. And no. Yeah. No. You get bad touch water. You're, I think, in the second game. That, there is bad touch water here. Remember Jolly Roger Bay? I Me, mean, not Jolly Roger Bay, uh, what is it? Uh, Bubble um, Boop Swamp did have the piranhas in it. Yeah, it did have the piranhas, uh, of and course. And then there was the freezing water in, um... Yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah, this place... This just gives kids nightmares. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't get to this level when I was a kid. <laughs> uh... Yeah, these were... These were the reason why I never, I probably never beat this game. Because I didn't want to be in this area. Yeah. You know, let's, let, let, let's explore that here. The Freeze Easy Peak you had the demon snowmen that traumatized me. Yeah. yeah. At, at least those I eventually found the, you could kill them with a dive bomb. But yeah, those are things that are freaking That's fun. Yeah, it's... I do find that, like, like the fact that they just have oh yeah you just see Clanker right in front of you even though it's, he's actually kind of a chill guy but you know yeah that also scares the hell out of people Oh, yeah. So yeah, this isn't this isn't actually oily water yet. When you get into the yes. really polluted water, mm. yeah, really polluted water makes your uh, breath go down like twice or three times as fast. Well, okay then. Yes. Uh... Count the water that has the shark that wants to eat you bad and touch water, because the shark itself. I, I, I mean that that is, that is water with a bad touch inside, and. You said he's chill, right? He's not gonna hurt you. Okay. I, Clanker is a bro. Yeah, he. In fact, just, if you get him out, he'll help you. Well, as best he can. Okay. Honestly, he is kind of cute. <laughs> like, like he, he kind of has that, you know, like derpy look. I think that's what it kind of helps. Ah, uh, he's, he's just a Clanker. 
Roger, Roger. No, I, no, I, I'm not going to. I, I know what you're trying to do with me with those golden feathers, you freaking game. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> He's learning, Argo. He's learning. <laughs> well, of the course you have. Feathers are pretty important. They actually teach you the invulnerability maneuver. Oh, and you put yeah. freaking honeycomb in front of another one. Freaking. Yeah, now that. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that, that. Uh. Okay, that seems a bit too high up. Well, can't wait for this new game. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna snipe some people, hunt some monsters, snipe more people, and... I don't know, it'd be fine. Maybe find my crate or an ass. Hey! Why did you leave me in the dump and... Why did you not leave the instructions with me? Do you know how hard it was to rebuild myself without the instructions? That's not easy! I can only imagine that there would be great disappointment to be had. I've got him almost to match. He's like, you, 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 you were not meant to be a sniper. You were, I don't know, a delivery bot or, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm still following that programming. How? I'm delivering lead to people. <laughs> so, I'm still fulfilling the purpose. Well, one thing I've just realized. I do not, like, I cannot figure out, like, I, I'm trying to make my, make this setting, like, even though it's a modified version of my setting, it's like I'm trying to modify it so that way it's inclusive for Pathfinder stuff, which is actually fairly easy to do, except for one, dwarves. I have no equivalency of dwarves in my setting. Because I replaced dwarves with lizard folk in mine. Which you know what? I approve. <laughs> lizard people are cool. Yes. Well, as long as nobody in our party is a dwarf, I think we'll be good. I mean, I, I could say it's like, yes, if you play a dwarf, you can have all the dwarf features and whatnot, but you're a lizard folk. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just like, I don't know, maybe you're just literally a dwarf. You're just, you, yeah. you, you got some kind of growth thing. No, no, no. If you play a lizard folk, and you're, you're if you're playing a dwarf and you're a lizard folk, you have to have a fake beard. <laughs> I mean, I will say, this actually is kind of a pretty nice model for, like, an N64 character. Yeah, yeah it is impressive. Rare was really pushing a lot with uh, Banjo-Tooie and Kazooie. I mean, it's like, I mean, there is a reason that, like, pretty much when it came to, uh, this era of, like, the N64 Rare was kind of, like, right up there with, like, in terms of, you know, what everyone thinks about. Yeah. Ew. Ew. No. Get, don't, don't. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Eh. 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 Eh.
probably shouldn't be swimming in the water if, uh, you know, shit like that's coming out of it. Ah, diggity. Dang it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright. Let's try this one more time. One more time. Grab a few egg. Or, or I guess like another thing Argle could be to the, that if it's like, oh yeah, there's dwarves, they're just off in the underground somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> really, I was just more concerned on what uh, my style of automaton that I wanted to play would actually fit in. If the elemental one, you know, like Ghost in the Shell is pretty cool, I definitely prefer the more traditional robots. By the way, do lizard folks sing Diggy Diggy Hole? Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, come on, if you're gonna be digging, dig that. I uh, recently heard like a metal band version of that. Yeah, I heard that one. Uh, yeah, that one guy who does a lot of metal. No, it, it, I, I, yeah, I saw him, but no, this wasn't him. This was like an actual, uh, a full band. Oh, are you talking about Windrose? The. I think so. Yeah, because they did. They do a lot of dwarven badass covers, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Like dwarf metal. Yeah, exactly. Although I do like Ailstorm with their pirate metal. Mm. They did a great cover of You Are a Pirate and Pirate Scorn from uh, Donkey Kong Country Cartoon. And if I'm being honest, Pirate Scorn is probably the, the best song from that series. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you beat your thing. Alright, so that just loops around. I think you're gonna have to go up if you're gonna want to find the switch to free him. Well, I mean, first I'm gonna take a look at the stupid crib. This is a radioactive rock, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it's either in the water or it's in that rock. 
Mm -hmm. This ain't the only place where she's being a pollutant bitch. I think the worst part is that she's doing it on her own property. I mean, if these are inside her lair, then technically she owns all these places, and she's just polluting for the hell of it. She's a Captain Planet villain. I mean, we have seen that she is kind of cartoonishly evil and dirty and gross, so... So, yeah, she's a Captain Planet villain. She just pollutes because, why not? She probably kicks Woodsy the Owl as well. Yeah, well, you know, he was the guy who said, like, give a hoot, don't pollute. Alright. <laughs> 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 Not da dang it. <sighs> yeah, it can get a little tricky at times. Yeah. <laughs> Boing. Yeah. It reminds me of a conversation that was had a little bit ago in, you know, even regarding this game about how it's like there's the value of a double jump and a platformer and how much they kind of make you earn the use of it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that definitely requires some master. Yeah. What are you doing with that angle game? <laughs> Telling you the, the safest place to land. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see what else is there. Okay, so it looks like there's that pipe that leads over there. So uh, recently I bought Makai Kingdom. Overlord Zeta is the most hilarious, is one of the most hilarious overlords in the uh, Disgaea universe. So... Uh, yeah? Oh, go ahead, you continue first. Yeah. Apparently he is canonically the most powerful overlord, but he's only weakened because he goddamn burnt the book of existence that, hel that basically is the glue that binds everything together. We had to seal himself into it to stop it. Uh, I would say nice job breaking a hero, but he's a demon overlord. He's not really a hero. Yeah. No, it's not your cup of tea, Andrew, but uh, at least check out some of the cutscenes. Okay. They're funny. So, is that... There's a there's a game that I remember I was looking up, I've forgotten it already. It's like Disgaea, but it's set in space, and, or it's like you're a space pirate instead. Mm hmm I'm just wondering if that... Is that, is that Makai Kingdom? No. I doubt you it. You know, Makai Kingdom, you're... You're mainly a man in a book. Alright, yeah. Um... Yeah, but that also leads me to, uh, Mindfox, uh, was trying to get, uh, Shoa and I to watch an anime, um, Welcome to Demon School Irumakun. We did not last, uh, like, we, we labored through the three episodes that we agreed to watch. We barely lasted the first episode. It was not our style. However, it might be something that interests you. It looks like it was made in the mid 2000s, and it it, it is knockoff Disgaea. And Fox, What's it... huh? What's it called? Welcome to Demon School Irumikun. Uh, let's see. It's like, it just straight up steals the Disgaea aesthetics, and Fox has said that's like, 
the first, like, the first part of it does start off slow, but it gets super hype later, and where I'm just like, I don't think I can last that long. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple... Yeah... It... Even if you go with the promise of it gets better later, the opening still gotta help you. Like, Steve Universe and Amphibia may have started off slow, but there was at least still something. Mm. But, like, okay, this is still a pleasant watch. Even though I, you know, I have to wait for all the really, really good stuff, right? Yeah. It's like, it... Look. Go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, it's like, I, I, I totally sympathize with the whole, just give it a, a, a whatever amount of time and it gets really good, but it's like, I, it's... Man, that is a hard sell for so many people. It's like, yeah, I, I know it is shit for like the first 15 hours, but after that, it will blow your fucking mind. It is, it, it is, it, it is, the, 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 what, one of those big things that really is a test of being like, okay, you're a hardcore fan of a thing. I mean, that's the thing, like, I think, like, uh, Bren might actually like the start. For me, the big problem was, it's like, so, Iruma, he, his big thing is like, oh, whenever someone says please, he can't help himself and he has to agree to whatever they're asking. Um, he is a spineless character that is very passive in the first three episodes. Everything happens. He just basically dumb locks his way through everything without actually lifting a finger. Which apparently is supposed to be part of the joke because he gets called out on it later, but yeah. Okay, is the game you're thinking of It's not uh, uh okay, that yeah. game CHP Unlosing Rage of Dark Death Evil Man? Nah 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 nah. That that's um one of the things I'm gonna really need to check out because Yeah, that's a, that's like a roguelike. Uh actually it's more like mystery dungeon. Yeah, it's mystery yeah. dungeon. Yeah, it is roguelike. But I like it because it's based on like the tokensatsu. Hey, I mean though I don't think it's part of like the quote unquote Disgaea universe. Because Makai Kingdom is related, but... Just... I, I just love the fact that I, like, I go into Google and I'm like, games like Disgaea. Oh, so Disgaea 2, Disgaea 5, Disgaea 6, <laughs> Disgaea 4, Disgaea 3. Like, like yes, they, they are games like Disgaea. I can't deny that. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> It's like, ah, uh, yes, a, this square is in fact shaped like a square. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's like, let's see, games that would be kind of in the universe. I know Phantom Brave is. Soul Nomad and the World Eaters is somewhat related. Yeah, Makai Kingdom. Along with the Souls. Square sequel, Makai Wars. Yeah, Mugen Souls, that's the one I was thinking of. Mugen Souls, uh, I'm not familiar with that one. All I remember is that you you start off with like a, basically a, a battleship, a, a space battleship that has like a big teddy bear uh, face on the front, I think. And a oh, castle. Yeah. It looks like Captain Harlock would do if he got really high on Quaaludes. Well, I did wish list Mugen Souls and Mugen Souls CD, but I don't even know. Huh. Yeah, actually, I think uh, I think Mug Mugen Souls Z is just the sort of updated version. I need to get around to getting it. I, I am. Luck, so it's not too yeah. bad. What I'm gonna do is uh, I am. I've got to play Yaku the Yakuza games first, but after I finish the Yakuza series, or Yakuza series, I should say, 
Um, I am going to do a Disgaea playthrough. So I need to get them off my backlog. <gasps> Might we see just starting off something small if you wait, if you're willing to wait a bit. Like what? Well, they are releasing some of their spin-off games. Ah, oh, yeah, like Lepuso, yeah. Might I recommend Rasphony, a musical adventure, which is a musical-based uh, tactical RPG that's a little easier. Oh, I played this guy. I'm. I'm I'm not I'm not Andrew here. I I'm a big fan of Tac like, remember, oh, I'm the one that, that told you about Fire Emblem <laughs> or got you into it or whatever. Technically I always was yeah. interested, I just wasn't too I encouraged you, I should say. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Though checking out some of the spin offs wouldn't be too hard. Although I will admit Soul Nomad and the World Eaters is a bit of a slog. I'd say it's one of the weakest of the spin-offs. The only thing that kept me kind of was keeping me going was some of the dialogue, but even then, yeah. Man, Brave and Makai Wars is much better. Lapuso Tactics is an okay um, RPG. A little more restrictive than Disgaea, but still fun. And... Well, and then there's Rasmus for me. Hmm. And then, of course, any of the disguises are fun. Strange how we have yet to get a port of three, though. Like, they've ported everything with no sign of three. Or D2. Did a thing. Bubbles. Yeah. Oh, and there is also Frillian, God of Destruction. Yeah. But uh, that, app that apparently was a PlayStation Vita game. A tactical role playing game with elements of dating sim. Hmm. You know, I almost could imagine a scene in Disgaea where Etna and Flan try to hook Laharl up with somebody, and then the dating sim is. How does he get out of this situation? All the, like, the wrong answer is to do the, you know, the quote unquote nice thing. <laughs> I, 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 that would just be funny. I just love Barbara Goodson's performance as Laharl. Just <laughs> that, being that little shit. You know, badass. <laughs> Okay, I think. Said before, say it again. It is pretty awesome that Laharl is voiced by Rita Repulsa. Though he can say, after 100 years, here's I'm finally awake. It's time to conquer the Netherworld. <laughs> okay, I I think I am. Um... Okay, now what? Actually, I should at least give some minor detail. Like, I don't want to go into too much detail for all of guilds, but I should at least do it for the big ones. Okay. The guild, the big guilds that we would rub elbows with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say this guy and all the spin-offs definitely made the PlayStation 2 a much better place. And 
I suppose if you ever want to feel like emulating, you can always try emulating the PS2 Atelier Iris. Yeah. Especially the first Atelier game that we got in. It was a pretty good RPG. Unlike other Atelier games, which is more of uh, simulation crafting game with some combat, this game was more traditional RPG with some crafting thrown in. I'm actually kind of upset that they never tried to re-release Oh. Oh, his eyes actually track you. Yep. You know what's kind of, you know, it's just kind of given the, what he is, the fact that those eyes look pretty human. What did Gruntilda do to him? What, what is, is he a cyborg? I mean, there does appear to be flesh. Yeah. Unless that strawberry jam on his side. And he said he was her garbage disposal. Until there's a fucking psycho. I mean, I know she's evil, but Jesus, this is a kid's game. This is like something that would be in a teen game. Okay, so his teethers need some work. Uh... Yeah, go do some illegal dentistry on his teeth. Because <laughs> I know for a fact you are not a certified dentist. Nine out of ten dentists hate him. <laughs> what is the deal with that? Like, nine out of ten dentists, uh, just use this toothpaste. Like, what is up with that? Like, that, that one dentist is like, <laughs> <laughs> like Fuck what? this toothpaste! Yeah, is he like, what, Nick Riviera? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should brush your teeth with sugar! With 100% cane sugar! <laughs> E either that, or it's a case of like, that's the one dentist that wasn't bought out. <laughs> it's one of those things that, it's so comical, I will, I even talk to my dentist and I'm like, you know, who knows, even by the time I come back, we'll find the toothpaste that 10 out of 10 dentists get. <laughs> Just gonna slip inside you. Ooh, he can bulk him. And that is straight up flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that's just that's flesh with like wires in it. Yeah, he's a goddamn. If Gratilla made a goddamn cyborg. Yep. It's like, it's like, yeah, a, a witch. A witch that creates tech, uh, cyber punk crea uh, creations. Yeah. And then puts it in nasty water because she's a bitch. I know what will make this bear flee. Turn this shark into something that should not be. <laughs> uh, I think Gratilda's one of the better video game villains because I love 
she has so much oh. charisma, and the fact that she will constantly, you know, like, call you out. That, you know, that reminds me. Forget about her. I will, I will post a thing that I saw last night. Okay. Uh, God, it's... I have to scroll through all of Showa's uh bo 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 reactions. As in somebody reacting to it or nah, he he's got a bunch of screen caps. Okay. Cause either or I can understand. Let's be honest, that show was on drugs in all the right way. The Japanese tech soft me. And then I mm. this under ship posting. I wonder what I would have what it would take to recreate Bo Bobo as a character. I mean let's see, he's an unarmed fighter, so I guess you can make him a monk. But what would be the equivalent of the fist of the nose hair? You'd have to be you'd have to be a witch to get the living hair feet. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. And yes, I just posted the thing in shit posting. Damn. What happened to you? <laughs> okay, he. What was that? Just, just, just taking a look. God damn. Yeah, that is a. Uh... But DDD, what? What happened? You okay, man? He went through character growth. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that Waddle D has that exact same expression. As I do. It's just like, uh, dude, you okay, man? It's raining mayonnaise uh, in my rim world. I have a mod that, uh, let's see, add condiments to, you know, to my table and then, uh, my pawns will use it to add to their food and make them happy. But apparently it also adds condiment rain. And most of my pawns don't like it, except maybe somebody who's like, I like mayonnaise. And this will make me happy. This is also the same ripple that has a goddamn zombie problem. And I'm working to make a biomechanical centipede to basically annihilate it all. Yeah, it makes sense in context now that I think about it. Let's make the game great. <sighs> you know what else is great? Beds. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to mine. Alright. Oh, uh, are you gonna make it? Huh? Hey, he got it. Oh. Yep, yeah, just in the nick of time. Hell yeah. That's a nice thing to end on. Well, I got five more minutes, but yeah. I shall wish you good. Yeah, glad I could stick around for this stream at least. I don't mean to miss out on any of your streams, but hey, shit happens, right? Yeah, it's fine, man. Glad you understand. Good night. Okay. Right there.
there's another thing in, in there. Egg. Oh man. That, that, that really is chill of them to just be like, yeah, you know what, you can take a dive in my body if you like. Yeah. Frickin' ceiling dangle. Yeah. I never really paid much attention to the fact that, oh yeah, it is kind of fleshy in there. Yeah. Kid. <laughs> you just think, ooh, red and purple stuff. Uh. All right, tell me your secrets, bottles. Like, I guess you could, you could say that it is, like, he is purely mechanical and all that red is, uh, uh, like, chum, but then that doesn't explain, like, the bone, the ribs, or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we get the use for the gold feathers. Yeah. Like, maybe you could say some of it is just, like, wiring that looks like... Vertebrae? Yeah. Yay! And now I can chase those stupid things that were biting me. And that is like the the one of the like three times you'll ever use that ability. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Actually, yeah, I guess they are metal, sort of. Yeah, it's all just like chum. Hmm. I've taken a good look around there, I'll outdo my stop for the evening. Uh-huh. And 
Frick you, crab. Okay, so that leads up to that. Yeah, I don't need notes over here anyway. Uh, mm. I am invulnerable! Yeah. I shall have to find out where the orange one is next time. Yeah. Well. It's always nice having you around, Argo. Yep. And I will wish good night, day slash whatever to my dear viewers. Indeed. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna share this now. I, I can still flesh out the rest of it, but this should be enough.